Welcome back to another week of dinners. On Monday, I did a beef and butternut squash soup. I showed how to make that in my last video and we had some garlic knot bread. Here's how I gave it to the kids, just like a little taste of everything and I asked them to at least try it with some sides that they liked. On Tuesday, I made a pickled chicken. It's just chicken breast that I sliced in half lengthwise so it was thin, layered it with Havarti cheese, mustard, pickles, and ham. Rolled it up, seasoned it with my homemade ranch seasoning. I microwaved some frozen mashed potatoes and some frozen broccoli. And I made some yellow rice for the kids who don't like mashed potatoes. And that was dinner on Tuesday. Just to look at the layers in this chicken. Oh, this was so good. On Wednesday, I did a butter chicken. So I just started by sauteing my chicken breast, just two chicken breasts and onion. And I used my butter chicken seasoning mix. And honestly, I can't even remember what I put in this. Um, but it's easy to Google a recipe. Um, cilantro. And I just add cream and tomato sauce. Here's my brown rice just being cooked in my rice maker. We've got some peas, chickpeas, as well as applesauce. I like to add lots of sides so that the kids are more likely to eat a full meal. They can each get what they want. And we always, of course, have nan with our butter chicken. That is the best part. So here is my sauce ready to simmer for about half an hour once it turns darker red and is reduced by a little bit it's ready to go so here is everything you can see my butter chicken it's thickened and it's ready to go i toasted the naan there's the brown rice some peas some chickpeas and applesauce this is my homemade applesauce and cilantro to go on top of the butter chicken here's how i do everyone's plates my not so picky 11 year old pickier 11 year old um, my toddler who's just trying everything and here is mine. This is so yummy. On Thursday, I made a pizza pasta. I always use this whole grain penne. Here's my homemade pasta sauce from the summer. And I have a pound of ground beef, some bacon bits. I've got some cheese, um, pepperoni, mushrooms, and green pepper. I feel like the mushrooms and green pepper are key to making this pasta taste like pizza. So I've got most of my ingredients in my skillet here. I'm boiling my pasta. And then once the stuff in the pan is cooked, I just added in my sauce and my cooked pasta. I put some of that Havarti cheese on top. I was low on mozzarella, so I used Havarti. I put my pepperoni slices on, and then I just gently broiled it for a little bit. Um, all right, so there's the pasta all done. I've got some plain off to the side. And I just wanted to show you this ranch dressing that I make. So I do mayo, and I don't measure, but I do mayo. I splash in some pickle juice. And then I add some of my homemade ranch seasoning, which is one packet of each of these spices. Um, parsley, garlic powder, onion powder, dill, and chives. And then there might be one other, but I'm not sure. And then yeah, I just mix that together, water it down with water, and that is the ranch that we always have. All right, well, there we go. There's dinner. Can't find the cloth, so I couldn't whip up the oven top, but or stove top, but that's dinner. Choice of ranch, honey Dijon, or zesty Italian for dressings. Yeah, we know you did it. So I'm making pizza for dinner tonight, and I have oh my gosh, fell off my hair. Anyways, I have a recipe that I always use. I'll turn my camera around and show it to you in just a moment. Um, but I always take my bread recipes and I put everything into my bread maker. Um, and then I just set it to the dough setting. It takes two hours to make dough. The dough always turns out perfect. So much better than if I did it myself. But let me show you like what that looks like. So, oof, recycle. There is my pizza recipe. I always use this. This makes two crusts. So today I'm doing like um, one and a half times this recipe so that I can do two pizzas and some breadsticks. And so I've got almost everything in here. I'm just adding in my six cups of flour and then I'm going to put it in my bread maker, which I actually keep on the ground <laughs> and set it to the dough setting. Okay, everything's in there. It's plugged in. I'm gonna close that, press start, and then bread type, set it to Never mind, it was already on dough. So, there we go. All right, so here's my homemade pizza sauce. Um, got that layered onto my crust. I do one large pepperoni pizza, and I did a small barbecue bacon, ham, and green pepper. So for dinner tonight, we're making some steak. Um, Steve will have one of these, and I will and I will split the other. No one gunner probably won't eat that, so I'll just have some of this Caesar salad and some, I have a couple leftover pastas here. 
in the oven I have Yorkshire's and baked potatoes, but I'll show those when they come out. 